Okay, so our second herb today is thyme. We're going to talk about thyme. And thyme is like calendula. Thyme for me is an herb that can be used in so many different ways. One of them culinary, so we will make one recipe where it's um, flavoring food and also medicinally. And the first recipe that I'm showing to you is um, one where thyme is used. So our first recipe is something we made at home as cough syrup. And I realize now how fortunate I was to grow up with these things and being shown these things. When I grew up, I didn't necessarily feel like that. I sometimes felt when we got some poultice with cabbage leaves or drank something like this, I thought, oh, I just don't even want to say that I have a sore throat because I know what will happen then. And now I think this was wonderful and I really love the idea of us eating food or taking remedies that come from the garden and that are very easily accessible and easy to make. Real easy cough syrup to make. And you see the ingredients right here. It only has three ingredients. The ingredients are thyme, red onion, and local honey. And each of these ingredients is good for us. So red onion is antibacterial and antifungal, and it has a lot of vitamin C. It has more, I'm not going too deep into it, but it's, it helps um, with inflammation. Thyme goes in the cough syrup because it helps loosening up mucus and also helps with inflammation. And honey is very healthy and has enzymes and vitamins. So we're mixing all of that together and I made a test batch yesterday. If you look at this, how this moves when I shake the jar, you see how liquidy that is, as opposed to the honey. And that's all the juice that got drawn out um, from the onions. So it gets a lot more liquidy. And so the first thing we're going to do now is um, chop up the onion. And we're going to make us a second batch in this jar here. And I'm going to cut up the onion and then I layer it with thyme until the jar is about a good two thirds full. Now let's see, I'm going to taste it. See, it's fairly liquid. It has a different consistency then the honey did, and that comes all from the onion juice. And I'm going to try a teaspoon. Tastes very good, if somebody does appreciate onion also. And I think this is going to be a beautiful support when somebody has a dry cough. I can taste both the onion and the thyme in it. Okay. Meanwhile, this is sinking through. I'm adding a little bit more honey. It won't fit the whole bottle, but I'm giving it one more squeeze and then we leave it alone. And this should sit about 24 hours and then it's ready. So this is now 24 hours old. our first recipe of thyme. See? Looks beautiful. And will now sit 24 hours and then it turned into this here. Just remember to shake it a little bit and move it every so often so it can flavor all the way through and the honey is going to absorb 
the um, ingredient, the active ingredients of the onion and the thyme as well.